Oh, hello. I'm just a random guy who enjoys nature. I enjoy nature so much, today I'm going to give you a special tour. Come this way. You may have noticed my shirt. It says, don't be a tosser. Don't be a tosser, guys. It's not cool. Now, if we look up there, we can see Bowl Hill. And that lovely noise, some of the beautiful animals that are in this animal park here. I don't think we'll get a chance to meet them today because the park is closed, but here's hoping another day. All right. Yeah, once again, the antenna's on top of Ball Hill. They're destroying our ecosystem, man. They had to cut down trees to build those things. Cut down trees. Do you know what lives in trees? Do you know the kind of animals that live in trees that they have cut down to build those metal things? I'll tell you, there are all sorts of animals that live in trees. Okay? All right, let's go. Come this way. So as you can see here, there are some rocks in the soil. As you can see though, the soil has sort of eroded. And that's because these communist bastards are cutting down trees to build antennas on that hill. Okay? If they did not build those antennas there, this would be pristine. This would be nice, flat land. Okay? If you cut down trees, that's what's going to happen. Let's go. See here? They've put signs. They're made out of wood. They cut down trees to build this sign. And I bet the trees that they cut down to build that sign came from up there. I bet they came from up there. You notice this walkway? Made out of wood still? They cut down trees to build that. We're going to have to walk up there, though. But they cut down trees. And I'm, I'm pretty upset because trees are nature's friend. Nice log. It's falling over. This log can be used for so many things. They don't have to cut down trees when they can pick logs off the ground and use them for firewood or even to build furniture. <laughs> well, this tree here. As you can see, a tree is also nature's seat. I can sit my ass on this seat and it feels good. Everyone should try it, man. Why cut down trees when you can sit on them? You can sit on the trees. All right, we can see there's a lovely view down there. There's a beautiful animal park there full of beautiful animals. Now, I've personally seen many of those animals and oh yeah, they're beautiful things. If we had time today, we'd go down and check it out, but unfortunately the park is closed and we'll have to sneak in. That's where I go anyway. You can see here, sharp rock. Now this could be used as a weapon to kill hippies with. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to throw this like a girl down that hill. Yeah, now no one will be killing me with that rock. As we can see here, there is some beautiful, beautiful growth on this rock. And if I wasn't on camera right now, I would be tongue kissing that growth. Because how, how could you not check it? It's like so, so deliciously beautiful, just growing on this rock. Can you, can you cut the camera for a sec? Cut, just cut, 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 cut the camera. Up here, there's a beautiful view of just more forests and more trees and more hills, not a city in sight, okay? And it's on a tree. I'm standing on a tree that's naturally fallen over. People didn't have to cut this tree down. It just naturally fell to create this beautiful walkway that I could use to view up there. There's the enemy. Those towers, where there used to be trees, that they've cut down to build those towers so people's cell phones can have reception and people can watch TV. There were trees there, beautiful, beautiful trees, and now they're gone. 
some beautiful bushland. Christine, oh, thank you for touching me. Beautiful, beautiful bushland. And if we follow it along, you can see that nailed into that tree, they have nailed metallic objects into that tree. All right? That's bad. It's going to kill the tree, and it's going to kill us. Here we can see more beautiful views. Not a town in sight, so maybe over there. Just but... cut the trees down. No, don't <laughs> cut trees down. <laughs> All right, trees are there for everyone to enjoy. Here we cannot have this in our trees. Get down, you stupid side. The corporations have put you here and they're coming down now. Come on, don't. Hey, you make me angry. I'll die. We've won this one. Not because I couldn't get the sign down, but because we're right. Let's continue on further. On that hill over there, you'll notice they're cutting down trees and digging into the mountain to build houses. Houses for people. You destroyed animal homes. What about the animals? They were living there first. Some of the beautiful creations of nature, and those are ants. Ants play a very important part in this area. They, don't ask me what they do. I don't know, but I love ants, and they love me. Come here, little fella. <laughs> this little magnificent creature here, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? If you still live around here, it still does around this, this particular square, but where they've built houses, you won't see these around as much because they, you destroy their habitat, and that's not good. You can see there's more lichen on these rocks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can you, can, can you cut the camera for a second? Just, just cut, the, cut the camera. I said cut the camera! Yeah. We can see here the beautiful, beautiful mountain up ahead. I just want to make love to it, you know. If I was anything more than a man, if a man could love a hill, I would love it. Check, check out that rock. Wow, look at this shadow on I just want to, just want to touch it. My name's Flagstaff Maiden, and I'm a conservationist here at this beautiful park. And I really can't stand to see what they're doing to some parts of it. I haven't had a chance to show you today because all the beautiful animals that I was going to show you, they're just not available right now. So I'm showing you this part of the park. It's, it's really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And yeah, sooner or later, you'll see me famous because I've saved this park. Saved it from destruction saved it from people who knocked down trees to build antennas for mobile phones. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? You can help us. All you have to do is send me lots of money. By sending me lots of money, I can help this park become good, and I can bring love to the animals in this park. And I know something about bringing love to animals. Now, we'll just keep going further along here. Uh, you might want to keep the camera on me at all times. You never know, something interesting might happen. This is, this is the area where anything can happen, and it's often beautiful. So if you follow me, you notice the nice texture on the, gro on the ground here. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful dirt. And if you, if you dig a hole in it, you can do so much with it. You can cook fire, you, you can do everything. Once again, if we, if we look over there, you can see the beautiful shadow on this mountain. We can see that sunlight is going away and darkness is coming. And that, that's a beautiful thing, the transition between darkness and light. So you can see the shadow. If there's no shadow, then there's shadow. And the sun's slowly drifting down behind the hill here. It's very, very beautiful. If I could make love to the sun, I would. Now if I keep walking, Watch your step there. Right? So if you keep walking, you 
you'll see that these rocks are naturally occurring rocks. We didn't put them here. We didn't chop down trees either. We just kind of pushed them out of the way a bit. So, so what we did was we'd come along and we'd say, hey tree, would you mind moving? And the tree would say, yeah, sure, I'll move. Takes a few hundred years and a bit of weight pushed on it, but the tree will grow out and you have this nice path you can follow. The rocks are naturally here. something rustling around in the bushes up there, probably an animal. Let's keep going. What? If we have a look down here at the rock, we'll notice that it's quite, quite a beautiful one. Oh, hey, it's a fellow traveler. Hey, everyone, this guy, I think he's here to love the animals in the, the park as much as we are. Say, sir, what's your name? What are you doing here? Let me shake your hand, sir. Hey, is that, is that a knife? You're not, you're not cutting down trees, are you? Oh, God! Oh, shit! Oh, God, don't kill me. Oh, no! 